is going to be defeated, utterly defeated, never to, never to, to harm us again, never to pursue us again, never to be that, that one who prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he will devour. His teeth will be removed. He will, he will have to try to gum us to death if he ever gets close enough. Right? He, he, every every uh, means of attack that he has will be taken away. And this is the way that heaven is described, this time where at the Lord's return, when we are uh, freed up from all of these hindrances, this is what John records for us in Revelation 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. So all of the hindrances, all of the things we can think of associated with this heaven and this earth, they will pass away. And the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there, shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. That's what Christ will do as he returns. When he comes, the coming of the Lord, this is a great letter for us to be reminded of the coming of the Lord. As I mentioned, I believe the first uh, sermon I preached on this just recently, that the coming of the Lord is mentioned in every chapter of this, of this book, of this letter. Over and over again, and we'll get into that more and more, what that, what that looks like as we get into some of the later chapters. But the coming of the Lord is going to be a great time when we are all together.